Like I said, I stopped playing mid when the poor man shield started being super overpowered and then mid just was just a farm lane. Like you couldn't have asked each other because the poor man should block so much damage. But in League it's different again. It's, it's very skill shot heavy. I remember I had this matchup where I played Pollum against a TB mid with a poor man shield and I did not stop hitting him and he was full HP. He only had like tangos going on for him. It was the worst shit I've ever seen. They have solves in low, yeah. But they're different though, in mecha mechanically. You need more talent in law? Ah, it's not really true. I haven't played high level LoL yet, but like, I, I'm just looking at it, I think Dola is going to have more macro play than LoL. LoL seems to be a lot of gathering as 5 as soon as you have an advantage. Because you get rewarded so much for getting towers early. Strategic stuff like smokes. Uh, I don't even know if you can call smokes that strategic anymore. Yeah, that tower plating stuff was insane. We were playing it last night. And we were just hitting those towers. In the early game, you just get like 160 gold for every... I don't know, like 100 HP you do or some shit. But I'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna play more lol. If anything, I enjoy the laning phase a lot. So that's that's already a big plus for me. Oh, there's one thing about Law that is infinitely better than Dola. It's the net code of the game. Law just feels so much better to play when it comes to lag and turn rates. Infinite times better. It's literally no contest. In fact, even Han was better than Dola too. His Dola is just so bad at it. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, no turn rates in law, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, Dola 2 just has such a bad fucking online. Uh, I don't know well, what the problem is. Han felt super nice to play. Like, uh, if you go, if you play Dola 2 and then you play Han a bit, you just be like, holy shit, you know, is this even the same same genre? 
And then you play LOL too, it's like, wow, you know? You click and it just instantly moves. And then you play Dola too, you play Puck. You try to turn for your blink and your fucking hell just doesn't do anything. What the fuck? Continues to watch Dola. Just because some parts are better than others doesn't mean you stop one thing completely, dude. <laughs> You can have good things and bad things within different games. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Jerry for the crime. But yeah, I don't like that Han has, uh, not Han, sorry, Law has zero turn rate for heroes. That's a bit too much. But it's better than having heroes that feel like shit for having a really bad turn rate. Turn rate is a good mechanic. Like I said, I like turn rate as a mechanic as long as it doesn't make the hero feel like shit. Which is the case for Sage Akiro, Puck, and Pollen, and a multitude of other heroes. Oh, he doesn't have ult. Five seconds. <laughs> Pull him with one napalm stack. Yeah, it's unplayable. It takes like three seconds to turn to 180. Oh! Oh, the TP's not even finished! What the fuck? Radiant's 
Just another easy mode secret game. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So many games. Which one do I steal? Nipple. How's life? Life is good, man. Life is really good. Did I just see Wingblade? Nah, I probably missed all. know him we played in the uh what's it called dutch dota league which was the qualifier for wesg Rashan yeah to the i have claimed immortality top tower is under attack Kept spamming those stupid emotes or the stupid voice lines in game. Fortune's changed. He's mine. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiance middle tower is under attack. You know I'm waiting for Sack when I play solo if I enjoy it. Mm, I just enjoy playing party two more. And I don't mind just chilling for now. I'm not in a rush to play LOL, you know? I'll play it when the time is right, which is when I have a five man stack and I'm gonna walk around in it. Solo low level always hell. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. It, it's similar to Dola, right? If you play solo Dola too, and you're playing unranked, and it's like your first 50 or 100 games, they're gonna be fucking shit, dude. 
Hey, your first 250 games is gonna be dog shit, I'm sure. Thank you, is a legend for the 39 months. And look at Leah, yeah. Oh my god, when Leah played Dota 2, she lost like her first 25 games or something. What the fuck is that, man? Luckily, I have like uh, some experience in Dota 2 that law isn't that hard for me. Uh, you know, I'm hitting like 55 58% win rate. Despite facing a lot of Smurfs? I think a lot of Smurfs. I don't know. It's hard to say whether they're Smurfs or not. Not sure if bad. Or bad smurfs or new? Yeah, I think it's mostly just bad smurfs. Because I noticed that they know what my halo does. And that's the difference between me and them. I don't know what my halo does and I don't know what their halo does. So, my strats in LoL usually come down to the same thing. Kill them before they get spells off, so I don't need to know what they do. Everyone getting skill description is a smurf. Yeah, that's not quite how the game works, dude. If you think a new player can learn all the skills of 170 different heroes and then go and play the game and then he call them not smurf, <laughs> you know, it just doesn't fit, man. It's not how these games work. You can read a skill description and still not quite understand how the hero works together with his other skills. Because a lot of them also combo with each other. And then there's also this passive they have. And then there's also items that make them skill insanely hard. Bonded, you and I. There's a lot of shit, dude. I haven't tried Zoe. Remember, chat, you need to Google yeah, that's the thing too, right? Like, I, I, I didn't know what some heroes did on my opponent's team, so Radiant's I had to Google them and then find out what they did, because you can't see in-game. Okay, just thank you for the 17 and Joey for 250 bits. Just read about the skills, no. It's just not viable for a game with hundred and something plus heroes. So you learn it the hard way. That's what I'm doing. You die to it, and then you ask your teammate what the fuck killed you. And then next time you hope you remember it. I just can't understand that ignorance. So people who can read skill descriptions are smurfs? Like what? There's no way you expect anyone to learn fucking 500 different skills as a new player for a game they haven't played before at all. top of that, even if you know how the skills work, sometimes they also have different skins, so you don't even know what hero it is. And this goes for both Dota and Law.
Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Favorite lol halo? It's hard to say, dude. I haven't even played that many. I played maybe like 10 different halos so far. Maybe 15. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks have fallen. Radiant's middle barracks have fallen. Thanks, I'm JVN for the 10. Anything of reading spell descriptions? No, I was making a point that um, the people I was playing against, they weren't necessarily much better than me. Let's say CS wise or mechanically spell casting, but they knew what all the halos did, which is more than me. And then the guy said, Why would they be smurf? They're just reading spell descriptions. And that's just not the case because there's so many spells in the game, you just can't know all of them. If you're new. And it's simply not viable for new players to, you know, fucking open up the book and learn all the skills before they start playing. This is not a thing. Like when I play now, I just ask my more experienced friends like how many stuns and how many dashes, that, that's like all I need to know. But it's still really hard because a lot of heroes have skill shots that you have to dodge in order to win trades. And sometimes they're their targeted spells, sometimes the AoE, sometimes with just like one single skill shot. It's really hard to say man, and you need to know all of it to outplay anything. Which is why I still play my old strat now, which is kill them before they do anything. Like imagine telling someone to learn Dola before they start playing. Just learn all the skills of every hero and all the items and the builds and the interactions between every single hero before you start playing. They're not new. They're not smurfs, they just read a lot. What do I mean by skill shot? Well basically you have to aim at the ground and then you know predict their movement to hit the spells. Compared to say clicking on something and it just kind of follows them until it hits. Like punch hook, yeah, pretty much. And then Law has a lot of those. A shit ton of those. feels really slow for a league player i wouldn't say slow is the right word it's more sluggish like intended sluggishness kind of like um dark souls where it's all clunky and stuff but for a reason
one thing that would help a lot so much is just to be able to see in like the the post death screen what killed you like what skills and then hover over them and see the scaling for everything you know, cool down damage for every level up like all of it Right now, after the death recap, it just shows me some fucking tip on how to counter the hero. Like, it's Darius. Oh, just stay close to him. No. Oh, like, oh, okay. Guess I'll just stay close to it. I think they're very similar games. Law is more, like I said, it's more mechanically intensive in laning phase. So you get rewarded a lot if you have a good reaction speed and you understand... Um, how do you call it? Like reading enemy movements? So you can predict your skill shots right into them. And I like that type of gameplay a lot. But yeah, for learning the game, you just have to play a lot. It's no difference from Dota. You just have to play a shit ton, so you learn every single hero in the game. And then you need to play even more just to understand the advanced tactics behind them. And then you need to play even more to learn the matchups. It's a lot of work. If you want to get good. For laning phase, instead of denying creeps, you have to trade HP. And you have to do it well, because if you don't, you get sent back to base or you die. That was a different kind of laning phase. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. <laughs> you love Dota, but you would never recommend it to anyone. Same. Same. Even when I started, even when I played the game a lot, I wouldn't recommend it to people. It's very hard to. Have people play this game from the beginning, from from ground up. At least support isn't so bad to play now. Remaining. Like it's kind of nice in Dola. But holy fuck, if you like started playing Five, support six, six years ago, there's a reason why they called him a ward bitch. It's not it's not like that anymore. But back then, you would have brown boots and, if you're lucky, a bracer. That's your life as a support. Blink dagger? Yeah, good, good luck getting a blink dagger, man. I don't know about league supports, but they seem to be very impactful at least. And I also don't know how they were in the past. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Radiant team ban. <laughs> Dire team pick. Radiant team pick. Winter Wyvern. 
Radiant team pick. Doom. Dire team pick. The other two item builds are too complex for newbie. I think so. I think all the item builds have like five viable items per patch. It's really not that complex. It really doesn't change that much. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, low item builds are even worse, but it's just it's just the case in these things. It is complex. Build the wrong item at the start and you lose. Yeah, well, just don't build the wrong item then. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. <laughs> All the item builds are hard. Yeah, sure, dude. This is a fucking patch where you go five ray ba wraith bands and you win the game. Ten five braces and you win the game. Yeah, it's uh, very complex, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just for law plays if they want to start Dola. Play in a five man stack. And have at least two experienced players. Never fucking solo in Dola. Don't start solo, I mean, in Dola. Like, don't fucking do it. Don't play with two people and you're both new. Don't play with three people if you're new. Fucking go five man stack and have like two experienced friends. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. It is a waste of time, effort, and all of your sanity. You will literally get flamed on your first remaining. game that you're playing. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. In the spirit. remaining five seconds remaining <laughs> even friends flame <laughs> radiant team pick lion LOL does have this nice thing where you can duo queue for MMR. And I think it's Ten quite competitive even. Five seconds remaining. I fucking wish Dota had more incentives to play in party queue. A two man stacks, three man stacks, five man stacks, anything. Dire team pick. It'd be so nice.
five man ranked is not a no though. There's five man ranked, but it's unplayable for Havermore. And when I say unplayable, you literally can't play. As in, there's no other players doing it, so you won't find a game. Darkman for the 33. Oh, it's better at sea for sure compared to Western Europe. Western Europe matchmaking is kind of um, kind of meh. It's good for solo queue, but really bad for party. Club for the seven months. Stay awesome, saying. Dire team ban. Region is toxic as fuck. I don't like playing in it. Ten seconds remaining. There is no sense of teamwork Five in the C server whatsoever. There's still quite a lot of teamwork in um, high ranked solo queue games in Dota. Dire team pick. Especially like the top 50 players, top 30. They try really hard to win. They try really hard to keep it together, you know? Like, Blea, cancel, Blea! They start fucking yelling, flaming in 20 different languages. Non stop Russian flames for 10 Radio minutes straight. Team pick. Phantom Assassin. Yeah, it fucking happens, dude. Your hero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose draft is better. Like I said, I don't really follow this game anymore. You play in C server, you get the nicest English speaking folks all the time. Maybe check your behavior score. I don't think my behavior score ever went down 9k. And I still got fucking shit tier games. Like the shittiest tier games. Even in Europe. I, I got so many of these Russians that just keep flaming in Russians for 10 minutes straight. For making like one mistake. Prepare for 
and this is why you mute everybody in game. baby about it yeah i don't i don't want it dude it's too loud for me It's OG, but they're in drafting still. Yeah. What we're rooting for? I don't really care who wins. See that thing you just did? Checking for a ward. <laughs> Didn't think people still did that. He was in range of the tower, but there's no vision. So he knows there's no ward in that river. On that part of the river. Now what is this though? Oh, lane switch. Or? Yeah. lanes man it's fucking weird ember versus bounty mid off lane tv safe lane doom with a sand tower something
I have never been to a live gorilla show before, so I don't know, dude. I had tickets for one once, but then I got stuck going to some Dota event, which was also a mistake. It was WSG. It's terrible. Man, that was such a shit show. That, that China land. some of the melee tournaments. I watch fighting game tournaments here and there. Comforting rune They're fairly interesting. I like the hype bit behind them and the casters. I swear fighting games have the best casters of all games. for this year yep at some point i'll get good at fighting games at least to the point where i can beat average players consistently but my god fighting games need so much muscle memory and so much practice it's not the kind of game you can just win with knowledge It's like, you know, Age of Mythology, I can just win by macroing better than my opponents. Which is mostly just knowing about the game. But fucking fighting games, man. They're so, me they're so mechanical in play. Hmm. <laughs> you didn't get it. The bounty got it. Dire structures are fortified. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> What is he barking at? Ghost. <laughs> I don't know what Ember was doing. It looked like he was going for a gank, but the gank looked like shit. But he's still doing well in laning phase. He is 500 gold behind. Well, 600. 